Today it is my privilege to begin our unit on the history of the Enlightenment, a time in which we will find concepts and thinkers whose depth of intellectual wisdom is hard to surpass in any historical period. We will speak of Mary Wollstonecraft, author of Frankenstein, who posed the question of domination of nature by man's technology, a time in intellectual history where the foundational ideas of modern society were developed and explored, explored by authors like Voltaire, Mary Wollstonecraft, as well as Thomas Hobbes. Their intellectual underpinnings revealed a depth of conflict in society. Ideas like reason, power of nature, happiness, progress, and liberty. As we begin this intellectual journey, do you have any questions? I'm sure your inquiries will grow as this journey begins for all of us into the Enlightenment. Sam caught me staring at him today. Again. Cool story. So, okay, do you think my nails would rock better in like a smooth sailing blue or in like an A-list red? A-list red. That's totally what I was thinking too. So, do you really like this guy? Yeah. I just, I don't know how to tell him. You should do something radical. Like, surprise him. Radical? Yeah, like... Like, go old school. Like, write him a love letter with, like, a stamp. <laughs> okay, I didn't even know people still used those things. Where would I find one? I don't know, right? Well, my mom's such a hippie. She probably has, like, some stamps, cards, and stuff. I can bring him to school tomorrow. Uh, Sam might find that weird. No, no, it's so cool. I promise. Okay, I gotta go. I'll see you. Later. Come in. Hey. Wow, look at this collection. Page 15, the dresses are beautiful. I think it's the people that make the dresses beautiful. Well, I'm going to the store. Would you like to come? Sure. Can you get me some gum?
I heard you beat Rex Hoover in the Westlake tournament. Uh, it's true. Uh, the AP, Sports Illustrated, New York Times, they've all done stories on me. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, who are you? I'm Hannah. We have history together. Oh, uh, I'm Sam. But, uh, I got an important game in 20 minutes, so I gotta stay focused. There's my card. 20 minutes? I can do that. Hey. Hey. What's the score? 15 love. I'm guessing Sam's winning. Who would have guessed? Not me. Um, I gotta go. Tell me who wins. Bye, Grant. See you later. Hannah. I think you need to take on a project. Get your mind off of things. Thanks, Mom. Ella. What's this you need? I'll do it. Do what? I'll write Sam a letter. Sam and that girl, they didn't even go together. Saw that skeezer in the hall yesterday. I'd give her like a solid six. You give everything a six. When have I ever said that? I've lost count. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, what's your name? Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. She has nothing on you. You are a cat who knows where it's at. Thanks, Ella, but he is going out with her. Yeah, not for long. Give them like six days. Hello? Hey. What's up? Not much. I just have, like, the greatest news ever. Really? Really. So, I heard Sam broke up with his girlfriend yesterday. No way. Way. I'm not messing around. Okay, but what does this have to do with anything? Oh, well, you know that place we're hanging out tonight? Yeah, at Nows? Yeah. Um, Chloe invited Sam to hang out with us. Oh my god. 
Wait, she doesn't have a thing with him, right? No, no, no. She invited him because she knows you like him. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh, what time are we meeting up with them? Um, let me call Chloe and figure it out. Okay, I'll call you back. Okay. Bye. the boy. What? This thing's kind of cute. Mom, why would you bring me mail? Hey, what did Chloe say? Um, she said we're meeting up around 5.30. Oh. Okay, I'll see you in 10. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, I'll see you. I've been meaning to, to tell you. All right. <laughs> 